Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today, guys, we're going to be looking at a bit of a budget deck that I built here, but an interesting competitive deck at that. Um, now, I would do some more Dragon Majesty decks, but again, the prices are still very high for some of these cards. Um, you know, Altaria GX, I do want to look at, but that card is still insanely pricey. Um, so, for now, we are just going to wait until the ETBs come out, the Elite Trainer Boxes. When they come out, the prices will be better and everything should stabilize by then. And, you know, hopefully Dragon Majesty decks are easier to come by. Um, but we'll see. I'm definitely going to try and do more Dragon Majesty decks, though. Don't worry. Um, maybe the next video will be Dragon Majesty deck. But I just thought we would take it easy today and just not look at Dragon Majesty deck. My Dragon Majesty deck building skills, personally, haven't been as good as I thought they would be. Especially with the last few videos. So, let's take a look at this deck. And again, this is a budget deck, but it's kind of like an anti-meta deck. Using Metagross here from Celestial Storm with Garboder and Shrine of Punishment. It's everyone's favorite stadium right now. But... It's an interesting way to play Metagross. Now, everyone, you know, assumes this Metagross can be used with Metagross GX, which it can, right? This Metagross has a very strong ability with Extend. As long as this Pokemon is your active, your turn does not end when you use Steven's Resolve. Steven's Resolve, obviously, get three cards you want from your deck, your turn ends. So, this works really well with Metagross GX to play Extend with Steven's Resolve, and you don't have to end your turn, um, which is very powerful. And this lets you get, like, multiple Metagross in play off of Steven, so very strong ability. And this build is a little different. We are just going to be pulverizing him with non-GX attackers. And one of them, obviously, is Metagross here. Now, Metagross sadly doesn't have the best attack in the world, but it's not terrible at that. Um, one energy for 60. During your next turn, this Pokemon's Meteor Mash does 60 more damage. So the damage output is okay. 60 is fine. With a choice being, you do 90. With a Shrine of Punishment, you can do 100. Um, and then Meteor Mash can do 120 next turn. Which is actually good numbers. I mean, we'll talk about what Metagross can do in other matchups in just a sec for some of the tech cards I've included. But Meteor Mash is good, in my opinion. The only way they can stop it is if they play Guzma, or if they do, like, an Escape Rope or, like, a Bloodthirsty Eyes or something. So, for the most part, Meteor Mash should be consistently doing 120. Even if it's not, there's enough damage boosters for it still to put on okay pressure and damage. Another nice thing with Metagross, it is a Metal-type. If you play against Gardevoir, which, you know, there are still Gardevoir decks right now. Some people might actually want to be playing Gardevoir because some people are playing all the new Dragon decks. So, that's a possibility, right? So, Meteor Mash can help a lot against Guardi. And, uh, the backup partners, I've decided, is with Gar uh, Garboder's Trash Lanch. Obviously, Trash Lanch is a very strong attack. A lot of decks playing heavy item counts will fall victim to this. Um, Trash Lanch is just really good. And we can use Unit Energy with Garboder here. We're only playing a 2-2 line, though. Um, and... Some other Pokemon in the deck. Uh, there's two other attackers. We have a Dust Main here with Dust Shot. Um, just a very good card to have. Dust Shot can be very useful, I think. Um, with Shrine of Punishments and Choice Main, Dust Shot can actually be hitting for okay numbers too. Um, you can also finish stuff off, sovereign stuff up. And we are playing a Celesteel with Moonraker. Unfortunately, I don't like this card too much. It is a little gimmicky, but we're going to try and see if the gimmick can work. Uh, considering we are playing a deck that we only take, you know, your opponent only gets one prize per knockout with this type of a deck, because there's not a single GX in here, you can kind of get away with Celesteela's Moonraker. It's a bit easier to use. Um, obviously, all the prizes in play up to the six. We have an Oranguru. Now, I'm playing a Delmise. One of the reasons for this is because then Metagross can do 130 damage with its attack, which hits great numbers on Buzzle, so that's one of the reasons why I play Delmise. We got our four Beldums, two Matangs, four Metagross, um, we got our Ranguru, and that's it for the Pokemon. We go into the items now. We are playing a bit of a controversial card, but I am playing an energy recycle system. I just like the ability to get an energy back into your hand. It's actually really good. Um, this is really underrated in my opinion. I really like this card. Uh, we are playing two Max Potions. Uh, max Potion is still really good with Meteor Mash and this Metagross. Uh, we are playing three Nest Balls to be able to get Pokemon in play, four Rare Candies to be able to go into Metagross, one Rescue Stretcher to get our Pokemon back, four Ultra Balls to search for Pokemon, four Shrine of Punishments. This is a very crucial card in this deck. Um, you know, some people may not like this stadium right now. Some people are like, oh, there's too many Shrine decks. But this is another interesting take on a Shrine deck. And yeah, Shrine of Punishments is just really good right now as a stadium. It's so good with non-GX decks, it's not even funny. So, we have Shrine here to help out with damage. Four, th four Cynthia's for draw. Two Guzmas. Don't need to go crazy on the Guzmas because it does reset Metagross. Um, the only thing I'd rather probably add is more draw spores. Uh, we got two Lilies. We do play two Steven's Resolve. Very important card in this deck because it allows us to grab three cards. And because we have Extend, we don't have to worry about losing them. One Taint Liza. Three Choice Bands. 
um, four unit energies, and five metal energies. And this is my Metagross Garboder Shine of Punishments list. It's an interesting deck idea that I came up with. Uh, I thought we would try it out here on PCGO. Take a break from the Dragon Master decks, wait for the prices to lower, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in a minute with some games with this deck. Alright guys, here we go. Let's get some games, and let's see what the deck is all about. Um, but yeah, ask you, well, let me ask you guys, what uh, Dragon Master deck do you guys really want to see next? Um, you know, again, a lot of the, the cards are pretty hard to get right now, but um, what what Dragon Master deck would you guys like to see next? Um, if you were to choose. Alright, looks like we're up against Rayquaza Vikavolt. Um, this matchup I'm okay with. Not, not a terrible matchup, I don't think. We kind of do want to be playing against, like, GX heavy decks, obviously. Ooh, no, don't disconnect me. Don't do it. Okay, if I actually get disconnected, I'm going to be very sad. Alright, let's see. Pretty sure it's actually going to be a new ladder tomorrow or today. Or oh, tomorrow by the time you're watching this. We don't win the coin flip. That sucks. Hopefully this Wi-Fi symbol goes away any day now. Would be great. Any day. Alright, so let's see. We do start with Delmize and Beldum. Didn't really get the greatest starting hand. We'll start with Beldum though because we technically will have free retreat. That's kind of the problem with a deck with no Lele's, you don't actually have a way to get your, you know, you don't have a way to find supporters sometimes, so that's a bit of an issue. Alright, there we go, the Wi-Fi symbol thing is gone, thank you. Uh, it's, it's one of the most annoying things to see on this game, is that Wi-Fi symbol, it drives me crazy. It drives me crazy. I just don't have great internet, I need to upgrade. Alright, so... We can probably use a Nest Ball for an Oranguru, and depending on what we top deck, we should we might be able to draw like one or two cards. So we'll see. Just gonna put a Grass Energy onto Latias. Hopefully they play some Rayquaza down this turn so I can play Shine of Punishment. That'd be great. I'm using a Nest Ball for a Grubbin. It is gonna be a little scary if they get turn two Vika Volt, considering we don't have a great hand right now. So that's one thing I'm a little worried about. So we'll have to see if they get it or not. They are gonna Lily for four, which is a little annoying. Now, they do play a lot of items though, right? You know, we want them to play items, so there's one thing. Ooh, we're playing a Bulu down. Alright, that actually might be a bit of a harder thing to deal with. Kappa Wilderness might be a bit of a challenge because Kappa Wilderness can heal it, and we can't really one shot Bulu, so mm, interesting. Let's see what we top deck here. Pfft, another Shine of Punishments. Are you kidding me? I don't need all these shines in my hand. Um, I'm actually tempted just to get Dustmane Necrozma. I don't know. We'll grab the Oranguru, though, I think, for sure. We did prize a Trubbish, actually. We have all our Metagross. We prized a Rare Candy. We got most of our supporters, so... Yeah, I guess we'll grab Oranguru. We're definitely going to need him. We'll play Nest Ball. We'll probably have to just get a second Beldum. We might have to go into Delmize here, I think. We'll instruct for two. Or one, but yeah, we didn't get anything good. Um, we kind of have the pass. We're stuck in the active. We got a bit of a pretty bad starting hand. Double Shrine is not very good to have. I mean, if he plays Field Blower, which I kind of hope he does, to be honest with you, just so I can play another Shrine from my hand. I mean, to be fair, we don't play an insane amount of draw supporter cards. We only play four Cynthia's, two Lilies, a Tate, Liza, but we do have two Steven's Resolve. So, we don't have a horrible lineup, though maybe we could maybe try and add more draw supporters. Maybe this deck does need more draw supporters than what we have. I Maybe it does. He is unfortunately going to get the turn two Vika Volt in play. He's probably going to knock out Beldum with the Bulu. So, if we don't really draw anything, we're in trouble. We are going to be in trouble. Thankfully, Volkner states you have to get a Light Energy, so, I mean, I, we, he might not attack with Bulu this turn. We'll see. Let's hope he doesn't, though. He's going to do an Ultra Ball. I mean, that's another item, though. Don't forget. That's well, it's only two. Well, he has three because he has Rare Candy in hand. So, let's see what he's going to get here. Is he getting the Vega Bolt? Pardon me. Yep, yep, every time. Vika Bulu is the most lucky stack on the planet, because every game they always manage to get a turn two Vika Bolt. I actually don't get it. I literally don't understand. 
We gotta hope they don't have a Grass Energy in their hand either. They did attach one to Latias. So, if they don't have one, you know, we won't get knocked out by Boo this turn, which would be very good. So, we gotta hope for the best. Shine, though, is dwindling away at Boo, though, which is a good thing. It's just... Don't really have a very good hand right now. Not very good to see two Shine of Punchments in our hand. And one in play. I don't think it's getting, you know, discarded this turn either. So that's also a bit of an issue. Bulu is also one of those Pokemon that can one-shot Metagross. Which is also a problem. Um, but Metagross sometimes doesn't worry about that. So, I don't know. We gotta hope they don't have Grass Energy in hand. They are gonna do Palpad. That's another item, so that's, I guess, positive. That's four items they played so far. And if we end up knocking out Bulu, we can get another item in the discard. But if they play more items, I'm fine with that, you know. But this game is not gonna go anywhere if we don't draw anything. Ooh, it's interesting that they got that Copycat over Lily, considering my hand has three cards in it. And they don't have the energy. They are just gonna be missed. It still does put damage on me though. We drew another bell. Alright, not great. Might as well just attach here. Not much I can really do. We're gonna have to just instruct for one until we can get like an Ultra Ball or something. <sighs> Got a boulder. Alright, let's just sacrifice Dalmice. Not great though guys, not great at all. We're just getting a little unlucky with our top decks, that's it. We'll see though, we'll see if we can draw out of this. There's a Rayquaza going down. If they do the effect of its ability, which they do, do they get rid of an item? They did, they got rid of a Field Blower. I'm actually kind of sad because I wanted them to Field Blower the Shine away so I can burn another one from my hand. A little annoying. They actually got rid of two Rayquazas off of that, oh my gosh. That is very unlucky. Very, very unlucky. They are going to knock out my Dalmize this turn, though. They could just knock me out with Dragon Break. I'm curious to see if they'll actually attack me with Tapu Bulu. That's a very nice uh, thing to see. Getting rid of two Rayquazas off of a Stormy Winds. I'll take it. For what it's worth, I'll take it. But still, we are in a very bad spot. It does not matter if he got rid of two Rayquazas. We're still like in a spot where we could probably lose the game. But Shine of Punishment might be able to put in work. Unfortunately, he can do Tap or Wilderness, though, and heal all that damage that gets racked up. Rayquaza, on the other hand, won't be so lucky. Okay, there's a Field Blower, which is another item. It's good to see him play all these items. And, you know, at least we might be able to draw an extra card here. So that's actually really good. And we'll see what he attacks me with. He may go Rayquaza over Bulu. It's probably better to go Bulu. Well, actually, he probably sees it's going to be damaged already. I don't know. Nope, he's gonna attack me with Rayquaza. We're still in top deck mode. Garboder would be very nice to have right about now. We don't have it. Alright, let's see what we can top deck here. It's gotta be something we can play. There's a bunch of cards we can draw, so... There we go, that's a bit better. Um, we can draw th three cards. I don't really know what to get off this Ultra Ball, though, if I'm quite honest with you. Tang, I guess? I don't know, but no. Maybe Trubbish? He hasn't played a Guzma yet, though, so that's kind of a bad idea. Well, I did prize a Trubbish, but... I guess we'll grab a Trubbish. I could grab a Metagross, too, just in case I do end up top decking a Rare Candy. Or draw a Rare Candy off the Struck. Hopefully we can get a Supporter here, like a Cynthia or Lily. There we go, we got a Cynthia. We do have a Max Potion. That's a good card to actually burn. Just because we're probably not going to need that at all in this matchup. There we go, we got a Cynthia. And we also hit Rare KD Metagross, which is really good. Um, okay, so we got a retreat before we Rare Candy, but yeah. It's looking good. We're gonna Rare Candy into Metagross. So, alright, the game is getting back into position. Don't really need to put a third Beldum down. I might do that though. We're gonna get knocked out, so yeah, I guess it's fine. And yeah, we'll Meteor Mash him. We're not gonna hit him for a whole lot without Choice Band and the boost, but we are still you know, getting 70 damage on him, which is what we wanted to do. We might actually be able to make use of, um, how much HP is he at? 180? No, never mind. Well, we'll see. 
Um, I'm actually going to be curious to see if we're going to be able to use Celesteela. He's going to do a Nest Ball. He's probably going to get another Grub in my best guess. Or a Ranguru. Yep, a Ranguru. I was right. So, I mean, my opponent has options. He knocks out my active. He gets rid of the threat. Or he can knock out Trubbish because he sees how many items he's played. That's 80, 100, 120, 140. We're going to be doing 150 damage with the Shrine of Punishment. So, Garboder is going to be knocking out both the Bulu and the Rayquaza. So, I'm going to be curious to see if he actually wants to target down the, uh, the Garbodor or not. He doesn't deal with Trubbish, right? You know, it's just not gonna be good for him. He's gonna be able to get a Ranguru of all things. Interesting. That might be okay. If he has to end up, if we end up knocking out Rayquaza and he has to attack me with Bulu, he has to get rid of all the energies to take a knockout. I mean, putting energy on a Ranguru doesn't really help that too much, so I guess that's one good thing about this. Our hand's not bad. We can probably hit another Candy off this Lily, and then we can get hopefully another Metagross down. So he'll knock me out. Shrine of Punishment, though, is still doing his thing. I actually, it might honestly be better though to knock out Bulu, not the Rayquaza, if I can get it. Um, we'll see. Uh, I'm really looking for a stretcher right now though, too. There's a few cards I want. Got an Ultra Ball top deck, I mean, that's okay. We can use the effects of Energy Recycle System. We will play an Energy onto, I guess, the Active Beldum. Well, Lily for four. Ah, I knew we were going to whiff. Now, if I didn't attach, I could have just grabbed a Dustmane Necrozma. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks. Alright, we'll have to just... I don't even know if Matang's a good idea. I guess we'll get Matang. Steven, I think, can go at this point. Uh, I think we will grab Matang. I mean, I could grab Dustmane Necrozma and just sacrifice it here. But I don't really care about losing a Beldum. So we'll grab a Matang instead. We'll have to see if Matang actually survives. See if Matang survives. Oh, I should have retreated first. Uh, whatever, it's fine. I should I could have rammed him too. It's fine. Yeah, a bit of a misplay on my end. Rayquaza can get killed though next turn if we can find a choice man. So we'll have to see. I could have kept the Stevens Resolve, obviously, if I really wanted to, and then I could have done Stevens. But the reason I got rid of it, because if we can top the Rare Candy, I can still get multiple Metagross in play, which is pretty good to still get. So that's why I didn't. That's why I got rid of Stevens over, like, an extra Metagross, or even a Cynthia, for that matter. He probably has Guzma here to knock me out, though. So it, uh, it probably doesn't matter grabbing Matang, if I'm being honest with you. It's probably not going to matter. He still has to attack me, though, with Nature's Judgment and discard the energy to knock out Metagross. Or, well, no, like, he could do Tower Wilderness. Oh, shoot. All right, we'll see what he does. He has a Guzma. That sounds right. I mean, I kind of figured he had it. So, he'll have... There'll be nine prizes in play. So, still a bit of a ways to go. Ooh, he put another Bulu down. So, that's another GX. I think he's still... Still the same amount of items... Another strong charge. I mean, be my guest. Tap of Wilderness here is a little annoying, not going to lie. I mean, I guess he could have done Wilderness on anything he wanted. Um, It might be possible to kill him with our boater. I mean, 4, that's 80, 100, 120, 120, 140. I mean, if we can hit a choice ban, unit energy, and our boater here, we might actually knock out the Tapu Bulu. Because Shrine's in play. And that would be a very big play by me. I don't know what I want to bring out. Beldum or Trubbish. Probably just Beldum, I mean. To be fair, we don't really have... Yeah, we... I don't know. I don't feel safe getting Garboder. We didn't get a rare candy. We'll have to do Cynthia for six. <gasps> no! What? Dude, we didn't get a single Metagross? Uh-oh. Oh, this game is not going to end well. This is not going to end well. Uh-oh. I can't play my hand down either. That is that is rough. That is rough. We didn't hit any of our Metagrosses off of that. We had the candy, but no Metagross. Ah, crud. That's not good. That probably wraps up this game, to be honest with you.
Yeah, that probably wraps up the game. There's not much I can really do now. I could knock out Rayquaza next turn with Dustmane, but the fact that he doesn't have to discard the energy is kind of why I'm a little sad here. We could try and knock him out with Garboder and then finish that off. Our oh, what? You're playing Ace Roller in your deck? Get out of here. Well, this game, yeah, it's literally unwinnable now, now that he did that. I don't see how we're going to win this. Rayquaza being heavily damaged was one of the only positives about our spot. And now, that's gone because for some reason my opponent is playing this roller. Okay, well, he's still playing more items, which is good. He probably has a uh, Duzma, though, Knockout Trubbish for next turn, though, if we don't hit Garboder. That whiff is pretty unfortunate, though. That is a very unfortunate whiff. And yeah, it doesn't look like we're able to use Soul Steel in this match either. So, that's one thing. Ooh, okay, he got rid of a stretcher. That's a good thing. Now, we can sweep with Garboder. If I didn't prize a Trubbish, though, maybe this spot would be a bit better. I don't know, though. Because we knock him out Garboder. You now, he brings out this. We had another Garboder knock him out with the following turn. And, and he wouldn't be able to build up Rayquaza. Then maybe we'd be okay. But no, that's not the case. That is not the case. Still... We tried. I don't even know if I really want to go for Garboder. I mean, I might as well. What else do I got to lose at this point? We're not... Yeah, we're, if we don't get Garb, we're probably going to lose. Okay, that's a start. A little annoying, though, that the last card I would have gone off that Cynthia would have been a Metagross, but whatever. Uh, we'll do the Instruct for one. It might be a card we can play from our hand, you never know. It is! There you go. I'm glad I did that. All we have to do now is hit one of our four units. I do not know how many are prized, so this could be very interesting. Yeah, okay. Okay, game, I see you. You don't want me to win that game. I'm s okay, I understand. Alright guys, here we go. Let's get another game with our Metagross uh, deck. See if we are able to get a better game. And, uh, yeah, just hopefully we don't get a bit more unlucky. I do think this deck might need a couple more supporter cards, if I'm going to be quite honest with you. That's the one thing I changed about it, is I probably would add a couple of extra draw supporters, maybe a third Lily, um, you know, even maybe four Lilies, but I feel like Steven's Resolve kind of makes up for that. I don't know. I don't know. Um, let's just see what we can do. We aren't going to win the coin flip, which is not a great start. We got to hope we're up against a heavy GX deck, too. Let's see. So we're going to mulligan. We do have the Steven's Resolve. But the mulligan prevents us. We had an okay hand, though, too, if we uh, weren't going to mulligan. So we'll have to see what this new hand is going to look like. All right. I hope we don't get a bad start, either, in terms of what we start with. All right. Not the worst hand, I guess. I mean, I've actually seen better. I don't know. We can probably grab a rank guru in this ball. We might be able to draw, like, one or two extra cards. We'll see. Is this... Ooh, he starts an Eevee. Is he playing Sylveon? Oh, he is. All right, he's playing Gardevoir. So, this is obviously basically what we want to be playing against. But, considering our, our how bad our starting hand is, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not looking very promising. He's going to play down a Tapu Lele. I'm actually hoping he, like, does something like a Judge or something just so I can get a new hand. Nope, fan club. I right, don't mind if they have DC in hand, guys, we are going to be in a lot of trouble. Because he'll knock out my Belnum. And I don't want to see that. It's one of those matches where you're glad you see the fairy types, but because our hand is garbage, it's, yeah, it's just not very fun. So this is kind of where I feel like we do need more draw supporters in this deck. This is kind of where more draw supporters would come in handy. We top deck rare candy, so we technically don't need a Ranguru then. We really gotta hope that this dude does not have a energy. I mean, I guess I could do Guzma. Could bring out one of the Ralts or like the Lele or something. Probably is better than him doing Magical Ribbon. Should have held the Choice Band then. It's fine. Uh, probably best to bring out Tapu Lele. If we bring out a Ralts and he has like Rare Candy Gardevoir, we could get KO'd. I kind of regret playing the Choice Man down. I, I didn't think that played through, though, when I did my turn. So whatever, it's fine. Choice Man is pretty important in this matchup, so that might actually be a big deal. We'll see. 
Alright, so he did have Hurricane Gardevoir, so I'm actually glad I did not do that. And yeah, he probably would have knocked me out with Fairy Wind regardless. So I'm feeling safe. It sucks being in top deck mode, especially against a matchup like this, where you don't want to be in top deck mode. I'm really hoping we can draw out of this. Really hoping we can draw out of this. We have a lot of options to get out of this. Like, I mean, yeah, we don't have Tapu Lele in the deck, right? You know, we don't have... Yeah. Maybe we just need we need more draw supporters. Maybe that's what this deck is needing. Oh, and he had the... He had the DC in hand, and he's gonna knock me out. So if we don't draw out of this, guys, this game is probably gonna end within the next two turns. We have our Candy Metagross, which is really good. Especially if we do end up getting a Metal Energy top deck. Okay, there we go. We drew out of this. The dream happened. Only at the cost of a choice band, which I regret playing that now. It's fine, though. Well, Tate Liza with an energy here would be pretty bad. We got Steven's Resolve for next turn. I doubt Metagross gets KO'd, so we are going to Meteor Mash him pretty hard. We also get the effect of hitting him for weakness next turn. And Shrine of Punishment does his job. Nice. So as long as Metagross doesn't get knocked out, we have a very strong hand. We get Max Potion. We get Steven's Resolve. So everything is good. Well, let's see what he top decks here and what he does. He's gonna feel blower off my shrine. That, that kind of sucks. We still have three left. Maybe that's what we need. Maybe just three shine is better than the four. Maybe this deck can just go with three shines over four, but four shine is still good in my opinion. I don't know. It's gonna lily for just two cards. Okay, that's fine. Let's see what he does next. Is he just gonna do fairy wind? He can't plead me, thankfully. And he can't really, he could like, he could have maybe done like a Guzma play. No, he's just going to do Magical Ribbon. Not even going to attack my Metagross. Alright, this is definitely going to make him set up an Infinite Force Knockout. So that's something to note. But, we do have the Stevens. Um, actually, I'll be we can top deck a good card here. Because I might have the Stevens for like another supporter. Let's see. Okay, that's good. We can Stevens resolve. Uh, definitely want Beldum. How many items has he played? Two, never mind. We'll get Shrine of Punishments. That's another good card. Um, so we're gonna knock him out. Probably just go Bell the Metagross because we have our candy in hand, so we can get Metagross and play next turn if he doesn't judge me or something crazy. Because I'm assuming he's gonna knock me out Gardevoir. We do have 170 HP. We're a little on the beefy side, but we'll see. So we're gonna be able to hit him for 260. And then Metagross doesn't go down. We sweep that Gardevoir too. We got an Ultra Ball. We got a Cynthia. That's pretty good. We are guaranteed to get Metagross next turn as long as he didn't grab a Judge there. I'm assuming he just grabbed all the cards he needs though to knock out my Metagross. I don't know if he would have grabbed a Judge. We'll have to see though. He's gonna max Potion. Alright, it's only 30 damage and it doesn't matter. To be honest, it doesn't really matter. <sighs> At all. And that should be the only max Potion in his deck, I'm assuming? I don't know what the list looks like. Now, let's see if Metagross survives. I highly doubt it. He's now doing 120. He needs two more energies to knock me out here. So I don't think he has it. Heck yeah, I don't think he has a knockout. I don't think he has it, to be honest. Secret Spring. That's 150. Yeah, he realizes he didn't have it. He'd have to have, like, three Gardevoirs in play. Or if he had an energy... He had a judge? No! What? Oh, I didn't think that would happen. That makes this worse. Because I would have max potioned and... Ugh, that sucks. Right. Well, we got Matang. That works too. Another field blower. Okay, that's a little annoying. It's fine. We're still knocking him out. It's an extra item, so... Now even Garboder has value. But uh, this is a pretty good spot we're in. The fact that he's not knocking out is huge. That judge, though, is a little annoying. We got a Megros top deck. Might as well just knock him out here. Lily for four, and we will Meteor Mash. So we're going to get knocked out by Gardevoir, but we were able to take a bunch of prizes here, and that Lele is also looking very good. And let's see what our two prizes are. Choice Band and Rare Candy. Choice Band is huge. This lets us hit him for 180 damage. So this game should be over fairly soon. After, you know, Metagross goes down, as long as it doesn't judge me again, we should be able to get another Metagross. And from there, we need to find either another Beldum, Put like dust main down or even shrubbish we can actually do celesteela next turn if we draw celesteela we actually win the game if we draw nest ball ultra ball or celesteela we actually win here 
Because we bring out Lele, and there's actually six prizes in play. So, let's see if we top deck Celesteela. Or, like, a way to get it in play. Nope. Rip. That would have been epic, though, to win with Celesteela. But, we can keep up the Metagross pressure. The only problem is we could lose this turn. Or next, well, not lose, but we could lose Metagross next turn. That Celesteela whip is actually kind of sad, though, not gonna lie. Alright. We got, okay, that's fine. We got Stretcher. We can Shrine him. Stretcher, put a Beldum on our bench. And we can Ultra Ball. Might as well. Grab a Ranguru. We don't really need to use cards anyways, I don't think. Can't win this turn. We are hitting him pretty hard, thanks to Delmise and Choice Band and Shrine. Um, but I don't think we have game. But we'll Meteor Mash him in. Let's see. Yeah. We're hitting him for 200, so he has 20 HP remaining. And yeah, this should be game. He's probably going to knock me out this turn. That's fine, though. We could honestly just ram him if we really wanted to. So, this game should be over. Hopefully. He's going to do Secret Spring. And if he devokes all this to knock me out, it's not going to be good for him. He's going to Ultra Ball, getting rid of Ace Rolla and Guzma. Ace Rolla would have been big. But my opponent probably sees it's like, uh-oh. It doesn't matter if I Ace Rolla heal, he still has Meteor Mash activated. So, it's probably a good idea to do find a heal. Would have been nice to get that Cell Steal a win, though, last turn. That would have been pretty awesome. Especially because I never really used that card. Uh, my opponent's just going to concede the match, and yeah, there you go. Metagross beating Gardevoir. Gardevoir, obviously, arguably your best matchup. You know, sometimes Gardevoir struggles to even knock out Metagross. You saw that there. He was not able to knock me out. He had two max potions. That could have been very scary. So, nice little win. Yeah, I'll catch you guys in a minute with another game with our deck. We'll see if we can get another match, maybe against something else. So, I'll catch you guys in just a moment. Alright, guys, hopping into another game. Unfortunately, I had to quickly... And the recording there, but we are going to get another game. I couldn't really get a good glance at what types he's playing. What kind of day is that a Necrozma deck box? All right, we'll see what we're playing against. I didn't get a really good look at what he was playing, unfortunately. Um, but we're gonna get into another match here, and uh, it should be the last match. So we'll have to see what we end up getting on our top. Okay, double Mulligan, and ooh, he is playing Hoopa Garboder. So, I mean, basically, this is gonna be one of those games where. You know, we're non-GX attackers. We have a lot of options thanks to Garboder, thanks to Metagross, so this should be fine. Okay, we're going to get a double Beldum Star. We actually got a pretty good hand, though, so that's nice. Well, we don't have an energy, actually, to attack Metagross, so we'll see. Got to be careful, though, if he's playing Weavile. He is. Okay, we'll play the Shrine down. Um... Not a fan of dealing with Weavile. I guess I should have started with this just to remove an extra ability off the board. So I guess that's my bad, I guess. We'll grab a Ranguru because I kind of have to. Uh, just so I can draw extra cards eventually. We have Metagross for next turn, but we'll have three abilities in place. So he's going to be able to do 150 damage to me, so that's not very good. I mean, that isn't knocking out Metagross, I guess, which is like the one positive about it. I don't know. He's gonna do Nest Ball again. I think we'll be fine though, honestly. As long as we can draw out of this. This is kind of one of the things I am actually struggling with this deck, is just not having good draws. So maybe this I think this deck does need a lot more draw supporters. I think it does. I think honestly, I think maybe you can cut a shine out of the deck. You can probably cut maybe even a metal energy can go. Um probably cut maybe, you know take out a uh take out celesteela there's options so i don't know i think this deck does need though some sort of more draw supporter cards so that's like one of the things that for me this deck kind of struggles with is being able to draw out of sticky situations and this is one of those spots where we have a good hand we just don't have anything to work with for next turn never mind we do uh we need to find delmise to knock out sneasel here so let's see if we can find it how many games has he even played he's played three so Garboder can still put in work, even though Hoopa and Sneasel have resistance. Oh no, dude, don't disconnect me, come on. Today, would the energy attachment would be great. 
There we go. Alright, hopefully this lag goes away. Metagross having an ability sucks again. Weavile is hitting for a hundred and fifty. Actually, we'd have to get Metang and maybe Dalmai's here to even stop him. Ooh, we got Cynthia. There we go. So we'll play the Cynthia. Let's see what we find. Got Trubbish. That's good. I can Nuss Ball for another Beldum. Well, I have the Knockout, but if I hit him at Tang, it would have made better. I think I just hold the hand, because I don't want to get knocked out next turn, so... We'll just hit him for 60. And then I hope he doesn't have a Weavile. Meteor Mash does knock out Hoopa, though, which is good. So I did have Dalmize would knock him out, but again, if he had the Weavile on the energy, he would have been KO'd. I'm gonna do Tang Lizer for 5. Let's just hope this doesn't give him Weavile and a Dark Energy. Does find another Hoopa, that's fine. And just get attached to the Hoopa and pass. And still only three items, but Garbodor can still do something. We'll probably just play the energy on. No, we'll actually hold it for Max Potion. Yeah, that's a good idea. Once again, just knock him out. We can't really play the Nest Ball. There's nothing to grab that doesn't have an ability. Unfortunately, I play three Beldums, and this Beldum is unfortunately the only one without an ability. If I had to split of the two, I would have grabbed that. So we can take our prize, see what we get. Lily's fine. Can't actually play that though. Maybe. Well, actually, we are going to be playing a couple cards from my game, so we'll see. We do knock him out. We also heal the Metagross. So that's one of the nice things about having Max Potion. But this is one of those cards you can also kind of remove from the deck if you don't want it. It's probably Max Potion. So it's up to you. It's up to you. He's going to do his own Guzma. That sucks. He's going to reset me. Is he going to knock me out of Weavile here? So if he doesn't, we'll just Guzma. Probably bring out one of these Hoopas. Probably the Hoopa without the damage on it. I don't know. No, he's gonna ambush me and get tails. Nice. How much would he have done? 30? There's Garb. Nice, nice. I've seen that. I mean, could bring out the Hoopa, hit him for 60. And then what we can do is um, Max Potion. Okay, let's, yeah, let's bring out Hoopa. He'll attack me, we'll hit him for 60, and then knock him out. And then finish off another Hoopa? I don't know. Let's do that. It actually seems fine. We still have that Max Potion play, which is one of the reasons why I'm comfortable with the spot I'm in right now. Despite not really having much to play with at the moment. And I gotta be careful with what I bench. Until there is no more Sneasels on board, it'll be safe to get another Beldum down. But just having another Beldum on board, I guess, is fine. Though it would be nice to find a Rare Candy or Metagross or even a Matang right now. Matang would be really good to find. Tang would be nice. He's gonna rank group for one. We gotta hope it's not anything good. Something like a, uh, now he's, if he's playing Enhanced Hammer, he's like, oh, you need Enhanced Hammer here to get rid of that, but nope, joke's on you. It doesn't matter. So he's gonna hit me for 80. It doesn't even matter, because he wouldn't KO me. Ooh, Ultra Ball. That is a game-changing top deck. So yeah, we're gonna Max Potion the Metagross, and this is why the Max Potion is good, but this is one of, Max Potion is one of those cards that you could take out if you really wanted to. We're gonna Ultra Ball, get rid of Nest Ball and Shrine, because I actually kind of want to keep Guzma. We're going to grab Matang just to get Metagross down. We also get rid of another ability. Uh, we'll instruct for one. Today. Okay, don't disconnect me. Please don't disconnect me. I beg of you. God, my internet is garbage. Alright, well, Lily for four. Alright, and we'll just knock him out with Meteor Mash. And we have the 120 boost, so anything he brings up gets knocked out by Meteor Mash. He has to find a way to reset it. Max Potion is game changing there, though. It also it doesn't give it makes sure he can't get the knockout of Metagross, and it also slows the game down for him because this is one of those matches where it's like single prize versus single prize attack. So how many items has he now played? He has played four items. So we would be doing 60 damage with Garbodor. Which is still two shotting the Hoopa, so that's actually still actually a relevant damage. So there's a lot of positives right now. Cell Steel I might actually be able to shine this matchup thanks to the fact that this dude you know, four prizes, six ten in play. Let's see what he's gonna bring up. He probably doesn't know what to bring up. He knows everything gets knocked out. He probably doesn't want to bring up Sneasel because he knows Weavile's good in a matchup where like I have a few abilities in play thanks to Rangu and Metagross and Belda. When he brings out Hoopa, gets knocked out. Maybe it's better to bring out one of these Hoopas. This is one. Of, this is a tough spot for my opponent. This is a very tough spot for my opponent. We still have a lot to work with, too. Let's see what he's bringing out. He's going to bring out the Hoopa, so I guess he has the DC in hand to attack me. 
mean, if he has that, he could still evil admonition me and finish me off for 100. That could still happen. So that's something to note. Let's see, though. You still knock him out. I could even honestly use my next turn, knock out the Sneasel. Um, if I can, you know, get an energy here off of our top deck, I can do that. No, he's going to concede. All right, that's fine. We had Stevens in our hand. I didn't even see that. Either. Oh my gosh, 300 coins. I have not seen that in a long time. Nice. We can get a couple of packs here to end off the video. And that seems good. So yeah, Metagross, Garboder, Shine of Punishments. Is it a good deck? Actually, I don't want... Let's split it up. Let's get... Let's get a Pag of Social Storm. Let's get a... Uh, uh, I don't... I kind of want to get a Black and White Era pack, to be honest. Uh, like, Plasma Freeze even. But I doubt I'll get a Secret Ultra Ball. Let's real. That's not going to happen. Maybe... Let's get a Call of Legends pack. Let's get Call of Legends. Because if I can pull a spare Smeargle, I can trade one of my Smeargles off. So yeah, we'll open up the Celestial Storm pack first. But yeah, Metagross Garboder. I like the deck. I think it's pretty fun. It's a decent budget deck. Again, if I were to change it, I probably would add a couple more supporters. I think the deck just needs more draw supporters. So you can probably make room for more draw supporters. We got a Soul Rock or Lunatone, sorry, which is interesting. Um, cool. And yeah, we'll open up the Call Legends pack and wrap up the video. But yeah, I think the deck does need more draw support. So other than that, I do like the deck. It's an interesting Shrine of Punishment build right now. Um, and we'll we'll do more Dragon Majesty videos. Don't worry, it will come. Yeah, I regret getting Call Legends. Kind of a Reverse Hall, Meganium, and a Nursery. Another Pawn, but whatever. Anyways, yeah, that'll wrap up the video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you like. Don't forget to subscribe and have a road to 4,000 subscribers. And I'll catch you guys on another video. Peace out.